If there's a critical life-saving machine and it doesn't turn on or it doesn't operate normally because of a cybersecurity attack, that could potentially lead to immediate loss of patient life. Uh, similarly, let's say we deal with a lot of IVD machines, so in vitro diagnostics. That's trying to say whether or not a patient has a disease or a condition. Let's, if, let's back up for a second. IVD is a little confusing for people. So in vitro diagnostics is basically taking a sample of tissue or your blood and running it through a system to come up with what's wrong with what's wrong with you and then recommending a course of treatment, right? Exactly. And part of that is the uh, sort of the decision making on what's happening mm -hmm. and the diagnosis. If you can trick that and so tamper with the results, you can say either, oh, this patient has a disease that they do not or this patient doesn't have a disease that they do and either put them on a treatment they shouldn't be on or deny treatment to them that they need. So I'd say those are the three main use cases that I see uh, or use cases, the three main threat cases that I see as the most impactful against a medical device.